Noemi makes things. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a little plant update. Um, I'm gonna show you my plants. So here I have my avocado plant. And um, before the holidays, I saw that it was starting to get these little dry edges and I assumed it wanted more water. <laughs> And so I gave it more water, and when I came back, it had even more dry edges, and I was like, oh no. I realized that the darkening and dryness of the end of the leaves, I watched some YouTube videos, it's root rot. And I actually took it out of the pot that it was in, and the dirt in the pot that it was in wasn't draining well. I had like rocks on the bottom, and um, all the wet was, all the dirt was super wet. So I put it in, um, I had some like leftover potting mix for orchids. So I sort of mixed um, some dry dirt that I had. And this pot I know is really well draining because there's holes in the bottom. And um, so it, all the leaves were sort of down and then um, they've been sprouting back up. I actually have been having my avocado plant lean on my fig tree uh, for support as I repotted it. But in the course of like figuring out like I need to repot my avocado plant like in a very well draining pot, um, I needed to like look at the other pots I had. I didn't have free pots. So I was like, who, who can I steal a pot from that has a well draining pot? Um, and I sort of did like musical chairs with my plants in the different pots. And in the course of doing that, I found out some information. So this plant, which at the moment I don't remember the name, but if I'm able to find it, I will put the name here. Um, this plant was in a really tiny pot and it had, when I unpotted it, oh my God, all the roots were so many roots. So I was like, it obviously needs a giant pot in order to be happy. And, um, this plant, which I also at the moment don't remember the name, but if I do remember, I will put it right here. Um, I realized that like regularly there's just been like leaves off the side that have been yellow, turning yellow. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on with this plant. Like, why is it not happy? And actually in the process of me taking it out of the pot to repot it, I realized that this is not in fact one plant. There's actually one, two, three, four, five. I believe there's actually five plants in here. And so I think it's the plants are not happy because I think they want to be separate and I think they all want to be in their own pot. So it just goes to show you um, that if you don't know what's going on with your plant, it's very informative to repot the plant and you know take the pot plant out see you know how many plants is it actually is it one plant you might find out it's more than one plant um you know you also may find out that the plant has tons of roots and the plant is being stifled by being in a really tiny pot you might find out that there's root rot going on that um the pot that it's in is not well draining so this just goes to show you that uh, especially um like I got this plant from a friend and uh, I didn't pot it initially I just assumed it was one plant I never looked at its roots closely and I think that just goes to show that you may inherit a plant from someone and not actually know that much about what's going on with the roots of the plant so Repotting a plant is a great way to see what's going on. It's kind of like being a plant doctor and having like an x-ray, like look at the roots. So that's all I have so far. I'll also show you my fig plant. Here's my fig tree and it's doing really well. It actually had like more leaves and they actually fell off. It's We're in the winter time here. And over here, I also have these cactuses that this is a plant that I had a while ago that I gave away and then it started to die so I um, took back some pieces of it and 
I believe now I'm trying to do this thing called callousing where you cut the cactus and let it callous for a little while and then you plant it in dirt. And I believe little roots will show up in that center part in the dirt. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out what's going on in my plant world. And um, yeah, can't wait till we get some avocados and figs. Also, come check this out. Guess what plant this is? This, this is ginger. This is ginger. This is ginger from the store that like I had in my room on a shelf and it sprouted and so I put it in dirt. Isn't that so cool? So my ginger plant, I keep noticing that it has these little yellow bits at the end. It actually loves water. So I think whenever I've been like really on top of watering it every day, it hasn't been dry on the tip. So I don't know if this goes for all ginger, but this ginger plant like is so thirsty and wants water every, every day. And last but not least, I gotta show you guys my little scallions and carrots that I've got growing. So here are my scallions or green onions and here are little carrots. And isn't this amazing? Okay, but guess what you guys? These are food scraps. I literally grew these scallions from like a half inch of scallion leftover. And I grew the carrots from literally just the half inch piece of carrot cut and all the greens were gone and this sprouted. He's so cute, they're so cute. And the carrots are like really happy. The carrots, I think carrots like, they're in my windowsill and I give them water regularly and I think they're kind of cold on my windowsill, but they're doing great. I think uh, root, root vegetables and like scallions do fine in the winter. So thanks for watching you guys. And um, some things that I've been researching recently, I've been researching um, African medicinal uh, herbs and medicine. And so I'm excited about um, everything I've been learning about and I wanna order some seeds grow some things indoors, maybe possibly grow some things outdoors, and I'll update you on all of that. All right, bye guys. Hello, no Mia, you don't understand. Hello, no Mia, why can't you?